Okay everyone, I am so pumped for today's video because yesterday was mail day and you know what I got? I finally got my Beckett submission return. I've been waiting for this package for a while now so without further ado, let's just crack it open and see if we got any tens or better yet, some black labels. So just to add some background while I open this bad boy up, this is the very first time that I've sent any cards off for grading and I did this submission myself. So I did not go through a middleman, I didn't go through a card shop. I simply just used my knowledge that I've learned of looking at the cards and determining whether they were potentially going to get a good grade or not. I'm hoping to oof, do this in a way where I can open the box without seeing the grades and then I'll use something to cover the grade and then it can be a surprise for all of us at the same time. Okay, so with all of that packaging aside, this is the box that was inside. So it feels actually quite heavy too. So I will try to open this as gently as possible. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, there is a, okay, there's just some like billing info in there. I obviously don't want to show that because it's got my address on there. Oh, okay. Um, all right. I really want to be careful with these. I don't want to see any grades. I want it to be a surprise for all of us. So I'm pretty sure I sent off about seven cards for grading. And one of them was actually a Japanese one that unfortunately, after I filled out the submission form, I noticed a scratch on the card. So I know that one's not going to grade well. All the others I'm pretty confident in, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so this is the top. I don't wanna see the card. I just wanna see if I can see at least the... Okay, so I just had a little peek and it looks like this is the back of the cards. So I'm going to pull it out this way just so I don't see anything and then we can just reveal them all one by one and I can see that the back card is already a gold label so that's promising. <sighs> Alright people, moment of truth. Okay, what I'll do, I'll take all of the slabs out of their packaging at one by one so that we can see the card in all of its beauty rather than keeping it in the plastic and it just diminishes the card itself. Oh, no way. No way. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Guys, there is a black label in here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. Um, that's insane already. Okay. Um, okay. Change of plans. We are going to take out all of these slabs from their packaging, lay them backwards so that I still can't see which cards are which. Obviously with black label, we know it's a 10. So there's not really that much of a surprise there, but the others will be a surprise. So, okay, let me take this one out. I, I honestly can't believe there's already a black label in here so soon. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one black label here. We got another gold, that's fantastic. And like I mentioned in the beginning, there is one Japanese card in here that I know probably won't grade very well. And because it's a super Dragon Ball hero cards, we will see the back. So that one won't be too much of a surprise, but um, I'll still just do this anyway. The rest of the cards are all um, Dragon Ball super card game cards. So, oh, okay. What's, what's this? Oh, okay, I think it's just some promo stuff. Never mind. Oh, okay, all right. So far, we have two gold, uh, sorry, three gold now, one black, 
This is seeming very promising, guys. Oh my gosh. Another gold. Ooh -wee. Oh, come on, baby. Let's aim for another black. All right. A gold again. That's all right. I am more than happy with gold. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. Oh, a silver and yep, it's the Japanese card. As I suspected, I am not expecting anything too crazy with that one because yeah, like I said, unfortunately I noticed a big old scratch on the back after I did the submission form and I didn't think I could change it. So yeah, I knew this one wasn't going to come back that well, but I am very happy that all of the others are gold and we have one black. If I had it my way, the black label would be the Beast Gohan SPR from Critical Blow because I love that card so much. So yeah, let's get into it guys. Let's do the reveal. So as you guys can see, unfortunately there's a few hairline scratches right here. That is not the case. That is the card. And yeah, unfortunately I just didn't notice that when I was looking at this card. So I'm not expecting too much. Um, we'll do a little uh, flip reveal anyway. So this is the card absolutely gorgeous of course and it's Vegeta but yeah I just wish I noticed that scratch before I did the submission form so let's have a look anyway so what did we get oh surface 8 ouch okay yeah that's probably because of a scratch corn uh, centering was 10 okay that's pretty good corners 9 oh wow okay so Okay, we got a nine, a mint nine silver label. You know what? That is actually better than I expected. I honestly thought that scratch was going to really lower it to an eight, maybe even a seven, because I know Beckett are particularly picky with their grading and they have certain parameters that they have to work in and the margins in and out of those parameters are pretty minimal. But okay, so a nine, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, let's have a little moment of appreciation for this beautiful card. So yeah, centering 10, corners 9.5, edges 9.5, surface 8. Not too bad to be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. So cool, awesome. All right, we're obviously going to do the gold labels first. Um, because I want the black label to be a awesome surprise. So let's just work our way. Oops, so why'd I do that? <laughs> let's, okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. All right. So this is the Golden Freezer SCR from Blazing Aura. Honestly, most of these cards are from Blazing Aura because when I submitted these, I hadn't really opened too much of anything else at that point. So yeah, most of these are from Blazing Aura, but I thought they were worth sending off for grading anyway. And if I ever decide to sell them, there are a few of them that are graded sequentially so that I can sell them as a set. So, all right, let's do the reveal. So we have, oh, 9.5 for surface, 10 for edges. Come on, baby. Oh. 9.5, does that mean it's 9.5? Oh, it is. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, 9.5, I mean, I shouldn't complain. This is my first submission. So getting a 9.5 or a 10 is amazing. But, you know, we're, we're after those 10s, people. But you know what? I'm still happy with this. And it looks absolutely beautiful in a slab with a gold label. It's golden freezer. So... He deserves nothing less. <laughs> so, okay, all right, that's cool, no worries. All right, next up, let me, <laughs> before I accidentally. Ooh, okay, all right. So, 
This is the Kamehameha reprint from Blazing Aura. I am so fortunate to get this card. I really wanted it and I actually didn't realize at the time how rare these were. So oh, this one has to be a 10. This one has to be. Okay, so. Oh, 9.5 again for surface. What's going on here, people? Oh no, 9.5 for centering. Are you serious? 9.5? Damn, boy, I was certain that it was going to be a 10. Ah, oh. oh, damn. Okay, well, you know what? Again, 9.5, still pretty good, but just miss out on that one. Um, yeah, anyway, it's still a beautiful card and it looks stunning with a gold label, so shouldn't really complain. <laughs> But anyways, let's move on to the next lot of slabs. Okay. Come on, baby. Give me a 10. Ooh, okay. All right. We have the Vegito SCR Alt Art. All righty. Let's pray this one. Oh, so how are all of these surfaces 9.5? Anyway, okay. Come on, guys. Fingers crossed for me. Come on, give me a 10. Oh, a 10! Yes! We got our first 10, baby! Oh, yes! Oh, I am so happy with that. I really wanted this one at least to be a 10 because it's so rare. So, okay. All right. That's good, people. That's good. All right. Okay. We've got two golds left and one black. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. All right. This is the normal Vegito SCR. To be honest, something I regret about these is that I wish I actually submitted a normal Vegito for grading so that it would be a really nice trilogy of the first Vegito and then the SCR Vegito and then the SCR Alt Art Vegito. That would have looked really, really sick. So I wish I did that, but I only submitted this one and the alt art that I just showed you. But anyways, let's do the reveal. So, come on. Ooh, okay. We actually have 10 for surfacing and 10 for edges. All right, that's good. No, I put, okay, all right, so this is a 10. Yeah, baby, of course it is. Woohoo! All right, so. That's fantastic. Okay, so we have both the Vegito SCR and the Vegito SCR Alt Art as pristine gold label tens, baby. Oh yeah, really, really happy with that. Okay, all right. Ooh, I've got one more gold label left, people. Oh my gosh. I I wonder if this is the. No, let me just flip. Oh, okay, okay, so Golden Freezer SCR Alt Art from Fusion World. Come on, please be a 10, please. Oh, okay, 10s on edges and surface, not too bad, eh? And 9.5 for centering, yes, yes, we got another 10, baby, yes, all right, sweet. Okay, oh, actually. Oh, okay, thank goodness. I thought for a second that was a big old scratch on the slab, but it wasn't. It was just a bit of dust or something. Okay, all right. So that looks beautiful with a gold label. Oh my gosh. Wow, stunning. Okay, let me get the other. Okay. All right, so sadly the original SCR Golden Freezer is a 9.5. It would have been fantastic if they were both 10s, but again, can't really complain. Like I said, this is my first submission and I'm even just happy that there are so many 10s. Um, yeah, and of course one black label and you know, the fact that I mentioned that there was one card in particular that I wanted as a black label and I haven't revealed it yet, meaning 
that I know exactly what this card is and I am so stoked. Okay, let's do this, people. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh my gosh, my baby boy! Sun Gohan Beast Raw Black Label 10, yes! Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how much I love this card and how much it means to me that this is a black label. I am never, ever going to sell this card. It just means too much to me and the crazy thing is, I only bought two boxes of Critical Blow and in my first box, I pulled this bad boy. So, oh man, I just, I am so happy and so grateful about this. Like, you guys have no idea. This is a absolute thing of beauty and I couldn't be happier with this result. I mean, it's probably one of my most absolute favorite cards ever, and that's including English and Japanese. There it is, guys, a beautiful black label 10. Oh man, um, this is definitely going on display in the background. So yeah, I am so stoked about this. And just to give you guys some tips as well in terms of assessing the card for grading, this is something I found no one really talks about and it's actually quite important. So obviously the back has to be well centered, not too top or bottom heavy, not too much on the left or the right. But the other thing to really take into account is the centering of the radar in the corner. So this is pretty perfect and I've seen other cards including one other black label that I have where the centering of this is pretty much the same on all of them. Ideally you should look at the radar in the corner as well as the back and if the radar is pretty centered like this then yeah you have a pretty sweet card and you could get a black label 10 like what I just got. Either that or a minimum a gold label 10. But just be careful because sometimes the radar can be really well centered but then the back is off or it's vice versa. Definitely check out the back of the card as well as the radar. Obviously I am by no means an expert, I'm not trying to come across as an expert but this is just something that I've learned throughout my never-ending journey of learning all about cards and what to look out for. So, and. From my experience, I've found that it's to be true. Yeah, three tens, two 9.5s, and one beautiful black label. I swear, I am so proud of that one. So, yeah, guys, that was my first Beckett submission. I really look forward to submitting more cards. I do have a preference for Beckett. Obviously, if you guys prefer PSA, do whatever you want, totally fine. I just think aesthetically, it looks a lot better when it's got the gold label and the slab itself is actually more thicker and protective than PSA. I found PSA is quite thin and sometimes they can even like crack and chip a bit easier than Beckett. So yeah, that's just my preference. Um, do whatever you guys want, but that is my unboxing of my Beckett submission video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah I'm looking forward to submitting way more cards in the future and hopefully getting more gold label 10s and hopefully some more black labels as well. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.